Now we're going to talk about the bullet valve cartridges. They should be replaced on an annual basis or if the pump has ever run for any extended period of time without prime because it may damage the bullet valve cartridges. There's one in the bottom adapter that helps stop the oil flow back into the jug, allowing oil flow upward but not backward. And there's one on the outlet side. Same thing, it's got the same adapter. And then inside is the same thing. It allows the oil to go up, keeps it from going back down. The problem with the eucalyptus oil is it is so thin. It's a very, very thin liquid that it's hard to hold it in one place. So that's why we have the foot valve at the bottom, the inlet check valve, and the outlet check valve called bullet valve cartridges. And we'll show you in just a minute why they're called the bullet valve cartridges. We're going to simply loosen the clamp that holds the tubing in place. And then we're going to remove the adapter that houses the actual bullet valve cartridge. After you remove the adapter from the pump housing, you notice there's an O-ring here. That O-ring needs to be tight when this adapter is put back in so that no air gets passed here to help break the seal. Then the bullet valve cartridge that we talked about is inside. And if you see, it comes right out. If it does stay in, you can tap it on a hard surface and help knock it out. You want to inspect and make sure, looking down any adapter, that all the parts have come out. The bullet valve cartridge has an arrow embossed on the side that goes the direction of the oil flow. This arrow is pointing upward, so we need it to go upward when we replace it back into the adapter. There is an O-ring on the top, there's an O-ring on the bottom, and if these O-rings are damaged or nicked in any way, they'll help the pump to lose prime. So you need to replace these on an annual basis or if the pump runs without prime for any extended period of time. These are available on your parts list, which is included in the maintenance pack. You can order them and we can ship them out generally the same day you place the order. When you receive your new bullet valve cartridge, you simply take out the adapter, knock the old one out, put the new one in with the direction of oil flow, Thread it back in and just bring it down snug. It doesn't have to be very tight, but just snug with a, with a wrench. And then we do the same thing on the bottom. Loosen the adapter. thread it. Whatever liquid might be in you dispose of. You can use a pair of tweezers or a pair of pliers, anything that can get in and help loosen that bullet valve cartridge. And again now we see there's part missing here on the bottom. Yep. This part does need to come out. That's why it's always good to examine closely the adapter to make sure all the parts are out. Get your new bullet valve cartridge Again, make sure the embossed arrow is going in the direction of the oil flow. In this case, it's going, the adapter's on the bottom, so the arrow points straight up. The adapter simply drops into the cartridge. Cartridge drops into the adapter and threads back into the pump head. And again, just tight enough to make it snug so that that o-ring seal can prevent any loss of oil or loss of prime due to air getting inside the pump head. That's how you replace both your bullet valve cartridges. It takes about a grand total of five to ten minutes and it will help keep your pump running efficiently for many many years.